How are you guys doing? You guys are well? Okay, we just, I think she's, she's here. So, um, oh my God. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Hi. Good. I'm, I'm, you know, it's my friend here. So Hello. I'm, actually, I'm actually pretty good. <laughs> what, what's her name? Most of these mannequin dolls have name. What's her name? Let me, let me look, let me look at okay. her name. Is this Nadine? Oh no, this is Vanessa. Vanessa. Oh, oh hi Vanessa. Yeah. Your hair looks great. Oh, thank you. Just a little beachy waves. It takes about two seconds. It's the best ever. I loved your class though, is because it made me really want to slow down and I just love how everything you do is so precise and with your clients, I feel like you really like take time with them. I don't know, I love that so much. Uh, I, I mean, I, <clears throat> I do want to, you know, make sure that they have the best, you know, yeah. service and stuff like that. So even with my system, like you guys take time, don't rush them too much. Cause I feel yeah. bad, you know, I feel like oh, this is like conveyor belt, <laughs> but like, and but and I do like, I like efficiency. I like it to get done. I yes. don't want to repeat the same thing, but like, I love that. I love that about you. And it's, you know, it was really good when we were in class. It was cool. Yes. Great. Yeah, we uh, is that your model next to you? No, this is not. No, I'm not a hair model, <laughs> as you can see. I, I, I'm cursed. Like, married to this hairdresser, no, you're the blessed. Amazing hair, and I have you're to be blessed. blessed with this. We've had habit for 22 years. So. And in all those years, we've never been closed. So that's so, you know what I mean? This is foreign ground for all of us. Yeah. We're used to a routine of getting up and, okay, what do we need to do? Go to the salon, do something, do anything, fix something, do something. Yeah. Whether it's we've had, you know, five employees, you know, renters in the past, or now we have 75. It's just always something to do. And we're finding ways to stay busy, but at the same time, it's this is like uncharted territory for all of us. Yeah. No, I hear you. It's just, yeah, a lot of, a lot of times we don't know what to do. So, <laughs> you know, by doing this, it helps to build community, just like, Get, sure. us, get people talking. So I'm, I'm so lucky because I have two cute girls here in the we're, we're oh, a family affair here. We got four Oh my God, total. they have such good hair. Hi, we have four guys. total. So the, the 18 and 15 year old boy are still asleep. So that's a- I would be too. They're, they're still asleep. <laughs> yeah, they, Teenagers. Um, yeah. They're, good, they're great kids though. So. And we have Cody. Oh. And we got Cody. Oh my Hi, God, Cody! So cute. <laughs> this is Miss Kate. She's our oldest girl here. Know, What's her I'm name? So Kate. 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 Yay. Katie. Yes. What are you doing? What are you doing to um? What what <laughs> techniques have you been practicing like or continuing and evolving after the class? Um, you know, I'm just going to be doing a mixture of like your curls and our curls kind of mix it up a little bit. Because I feel like, yes, there's so many cookbooks out there. And then, you know, Gordon Ramsay has so many of them. My friend, actually my good friend, Stephen Garrison was telling me the, like a while ago, he's like, hey, you should teach more because, you know, don't worry so much about like, you know, people doing the same thing, stuff like that. But everyone have their own spin on it. So yeah. even cooking wise, like you can cook the same beef stew, but not really because everyone have such a different taste level and taste, you know, and pinching yeah. up different it, ingredients. Exactly. It comes out so different. So even yeah. though the formula is the same, it's like, but that's the great thing about it because everyone has their own interpretation to it. So it's really cool. So I yeah. love that. That's why I like teaching so much more now because it's like, you know, Van Gogh can have Van Gogh, but like everyone yeah. else can be so different. Like it's so, yeah. it's so awesome, you know? For sure. And, For sure. So I'm doing diagonal um, new wave, by the way. So um, oh. I'm changing up because I really want the, um, the the new wave to sit not only like horizontally, but I want it yeah. to sit like this. So I'm it's, flipping it back and forth. And then my next section, oh. yeah, yeah, so my next one is going to be like this. And the next one's going to be like this. And when it's, when it's done, it just brings it a lot more like very super Yes. Beat you by, but more on like the new wave kind of aesthetic. So. Oh, I love it. 
I think I should just watch you instead. <laughs> no, you should. Yeah. People want to watch you. A lot of times when I have like certain videos, I'm like, oh, this one is for hairdressers, so this one is for like clients. You know, clients really appreciate how all the different videos, they can all learn from it. So it's not like just like one video is for a certain person and the other one's for everything. They just, they just like to see it all. Yeah. So it's really cool. For sure. For sure. And I just, I, you know, I never knew the day that my whole feed is full of doll heads. Like, <laughs> you haven't seen any humans on my feed. But I feel like, I feel it like, is what it I is. I feel like people love your, your videos are blowing up with the doll heads, though. <laughs> they're, you know, they're, 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 they're willing to do it. Right, Vanessa? Yeah. Well, same. again, we're all in the same boat. So, you know, some people may have a light model, but a lot of people may not. And so, again, hairdressers to me are just the hardest working, most creative people. I really believe that, you know, they're self-starters or self-motivated and they're going to take what they've got and they're going to make the best with it. You know, you do what you have to do, especially in, at this time. Like a lot of my friends, are like, "What are you doing? Like, how, like, how's things going?" I'm like, "I have to keep it going. If I else, I will lose my sanity. So I got to keep busy. Like, you know, and and I like it. I, you know, I don't. I wake up and I'm like, oh, let's do something different with the hair, and then being able to like, you know, think of a different way to do what you, you did, you've been doing for quite some time. So that's yeah. the fun part, you know. <laughs> how's it going? Oh my God, it looks so good. You're so blessed to have your mom doing your hair all the time. Oh. <laughs> I love it so much. I love like, there's so many people from all over the world watching and I really love that because it really brings the whole globes together and the globe together. And um, we got people from all over the world and a lot of like, it's really cool. Like every time I go live, I see people from like, um, Brazil, Turkey, and all this yes. stuff. So Isn't cool. that amazing? These are hot tools, um, inch and a half. And my temperature is at the highest because Vanessa here has untamed me hair that I need to burn a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, using, I'm using hot tools, but I'm using an inch and a fourth. Okay. And these are Marcel. Are you okay. using a Marcel? What's that? Universal. Yeah. Universal iron? Like we, we use like a mixture. Oh, cool. But, oh, cool. but we, use, we use a lot of Marcel, but we also use other stuff too, like beach weaver. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. You know, be whatever you can use. Right. Somebody. I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. Somebody's asking if you guys own a salon. If we own a salon, yes. Yes. Yep. Habit Salon, it's called. It's in. Gilbert, Arizona. So Gilbert uh, is just east uh, of Phoenix. It's in the Phoenix metro area. So what a nice name, Gilbert. Gilbert, right? right? You know what's funny? The first time I bit, I picked this up in uh, two weeks after the um, the quarantine started. I'm like, yeah. oh my god! I really realized how much um, I use of like my <laughs> arm muscle. Oh, I'm like, yeah. 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 <laughs> got this huge right forearm. Yeah, right? Like one side bigger than the other side. Popeye. Always like one side. Using the curing iron. It's hilarious. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna master I'm gonna master the new wave while I'm on quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys use any products to prep the hair? I didn't. But on did you? <laughs> sure did. What would you use, Chrissy, if you if you're um, Mind the jar and... There you go. I use this lightweight um, yeah, mist from Melbourne. Yeah. Is it I lightweight mean, mist? Yeah. Replenishing mist. It's very lightweight. It's um, detangle leave-in. And then I use a, a luminous um, softening oil for, you know, she has coarse hair. So it's I'm really good. And it's also from Melbourne. So that's all I use. I don't use too much products. I'm obsessed with Milbon, especially their texturizing spray. Whoa. Oh, it smells heaven. Heaven. And, and, it, and it makes it like, it makes it have texture, but not like, I hate when it makes the hair like too dried out. Yes, I agree that every time you put your hands in it, it kind of sticks, but this one doesn't. It just has a good, um, 
flow to it, you know, like yeah. you, can your hands, you can run your hands through it, so it's nice. <laughs> so I'm doing diagonal new wave. Um, so instead of like doing horizontally, I'm switching the barrel to going this way, like on a 45, and then flipping it. <clears throat> and my last section, I went, wait, did I go that? Yeah, I went that way as well. And I'm just going through each one of them. And then we do, it's very slight, but when you do, when it all falls slightly, when it all um, complete, it has a really soft bending of different direction instead of like going everything horizontally. So it's, you know, it's a, sm a small gesture, but it really, I like the effect of it. It's a lot more softer than the really undulated one. Um, so, and also depends on what barrel you use becomes, you know, softer or more pronounced. So your turn, Chrissy. Okay, so I'm not very, I'm not like a technical person. Like, so for me, like I just pick up pieces that need to be curled. And I angle them the way they need to be angled. So I, <laughs> I, I like that. I, I, I'm not it's very visual. It's the way like, Chrissy always, I think, is. I love going to your class because you are so technical. I just, I think that's so amazing. And I wish I was like that. But like I, just even with cutting and like it's so hard for me to like teach people because I do it the way I see it. So like I, it's very hard for me to explain things because I just do it how I see it and I'm a visual person and I don't know. I think that's why we've done lots of videos so you see Chrissy doing lots of videos in the, in the different education that we do um, or if she does a live one she has several models so she's like showing it a lot. No I think that's great Chrissy. That's how I do hair too. That's why yes. I came up with but the curriculum being so simple because I don't want to be like Twisting no. someone's hair 80, 180 degrees and twisting no. it back. Like, but no, here's the thing: you're very nonsense. good. You're very good at explaining it, though. Like, like you're really. You are too, Chrissy. She, she's, she needs to. Yeah, she's good. I mean, it's harder for me to explain, but I love listening to you because you're like, oh yeah, that's why. I that's why I do it. Okay. You know. Yeah, but I, I like, but you, you show it, so I think. We're such all visual learners. We're hairdressers, so we see things, yeah. you know? And I, some people learn differently. So I yeah. really like that. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. I would discredit you. You're amazing. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> no, I'm not nice. <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm nice. Oh, gosh. Oh. Chrissy, do you have a go-to shampoo and conditioner? Okay, I am very, very, particular about shampoo and um for me it all depends on the client's hair obviously but um but a lot of my clients have fine hair and so I mean we use a lot of Christoph Robin for fine hair I love their styling products I love their shampoo and conditioner um we use a ton of aisles uh formula because we do have a lot of clients that have extensions so that obviously needs more coarse hair, and so it kind of just depends on your hair texture. But I mean, we do we do use a lot of Living Proof, also Mill Bond. Um, but I'm not afraid to use like different like brands on hair. So like if someone has really fine hair, but their extensions are more coarse, then I would use obviously two different shampoos. Because I don't want their hair to be heavy. But a lot of people are like, why do my curls not hold? And I feel like, don't you feel like on, like a lot of people, like it starts with, I mean, if they're using like, like shampoo that has so much buildup on it, like you're obviously not gonna get a curl to hold. Like, yep. so it like starts from what shampoo you're using and how you're washing your hair and all that stuff too, right? I agree, absolutely agree. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, it, it starts from like the foundation. Yeah, you know, the product and and you know if you have a good foundation of products, it will hold. You know. Yeah. So. Like, yeah, I feel like so many people are like, I use the same curling iron. Like, why can't I get it to hold? And and you're just like, okay, let's start from the foundation. Let's start from the beginning. Like, what are you using to wash your hair? Like, what are you using before you dry it? How are you drying it? You know. Yeah, especially yeah, and if you put too much tension on pulling it and stuff like that, it probably won't hold as much. That's why 
every time when we do blow dry, we don't really put a flat iron to this. Yeah. Much, you know, because it just smooths out the hair too much. Yeah. That was a workout. I'm done for the day. Just kidding. <laughs> time for a nap. Time for a nap. <laughs> oh. oh, Vanessa, look at she. She's so spoiled. <laughs> Is she going to tip you? She better tip you. No, she doesn't believe in tips. She's from, she's French. No, she's <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I'm offending anyone. She's um, European, so they don't tip. It's included. <laughs> yeah, it's included. That's true. We went to Europe last year, and yes, and it's very much included, I believe. I honestly, when I go, when we go to a restaurant, I kind of like that. Yeah. Like, to be included, then there's no pressure. Yeah. And then, and then honestly, like, they already know that they need to, like, really, you know, be in the best service and stuff like that. And... Honestly, every time I go to Europe, they always get good service and the tips yeah. are included, so. Yeah, for sure. And somebody wants to know what mannequin head you're using. Her name is Vanessa, and she's from Pivot Point. Nice. Yeah. She is a good one. She's pretty, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I've seen some scary ones. That's a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have all these doll heads in my office, and every time I pass by my office, I have to turn them around. I can't, oh. they can't all look at me. It's so weird. Is he so freaky, freaky right? Yeah, I actually, sorry, I actually read this thing. Sorry, I read this thing, and it says your brain, when it sees a face, think about what it has to do. It has to like go through all of your memory to try to figure out who is this person, how do I know them, and what is their name. So my theory is when you see mannequin heads, your brain is like tripping out because you're like, wait, is that a human? Why do they look like that? Do I know the person all in an instant? And that's why I seriously believe people see them and get like freaked out. You're like, what? Yeah, it's- And they have no body. <laughs> Without a body. Yes. On what did you use right now? Oh, I'm so sorry. I use- Dry texturizing spray. From Melbourne. From Melbourne. <laughs> it's literally the best. I yeah, want to thank, I I want so thank, much. I want to thank both of you guys for letting me crash your hair, your hair party here. So thank you. <laughs> this, made my, this actually made my day. Thank you. You definitely <laughs> kept us entertained. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, stories. No quotes today. No crying or quotes today. <laughs> oh my god this is this is so much fun i should just do it with the whole family next time there you yeah. go gather yeah. everyone let's just let's just oh, all yeah, do you it would, you <laughs> would, yes you would love we have a lot of my boys are characters oh, yeah. i can't class. wait to go to arizona when this is all over we are yeah. going to do a physical yeah. class um later on in the year i can't wait and um we just have to find the dates and stuff like yeah, that yeah yeah um, Make it we're going to have a visual, virtual class on Sunday, so for, um, yes. I think for Michigan and also Arizona, people who can't come or who can't, um, we, we have to reschedule it, but um, exactly. Awesome. <laughs> I can't. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> we get it. We understand. Love it. And for everyone that missed it, they're using Hot Tools curling irons. Chrissy used an inch and a quarter and Ann used an inch and a half. Four kids, someone asked. Four kids. <laughs> <laughs> we can go on this forever. So, right? Um, but yeah, well, I guess we have to say goodbye because. Okay, thank, thanks so much for having us. What, 45 thank minutes went by so quickly. I know. Right? right? Thank you guys. Oh my God. Thank, thank you. you guys. Thank you Appreciate so much. Appreciate it. You're the, so you're the master. Ah, oh, no. You. Amazing. Bye. Amazing. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.